Live from Studio 5 on Michigan Avenue, this is NBC 5 News Today at 6 a.m. Welcome back. With people cutting back on quantity this holiday season, it's quality that counts. And this morning, Aparna Hooperkar and Maggie Shore, co-founders of Global Gift Wrap, are here this morning to talk to us about some of this very special gift wrapping. Thanks for being with us this morning, yeah, ladies. Uh, what do we need to remember when it comes to, I guess, being culturally sensitive about gift wrap? Well, our company was started on the premise of um, cultural sustainability. I think uh, people today are looking to connect with their heritage a little more. And um, from our personal shopping experiences, we realized that there's no culture-specific gift wrap available in the marketplace today. So, um, you know, I personally was looking for a uh, Diwali wrap for the uh, Indian holiday. And is that the one in front here? Uh, from, yeah, right here with the oil lamps. And okay. um, Maggie um, was, I was looking, looking for, for some Irish. Celtic. And I can find Christmas wrap, but I thought this was particularly interesting. It has some Celtic crosses on it. And then for our, um, our friends who are in the Latino neighborhood, um, this beautiful poinsettia gift wrap was interesting, and then... Because it says Feliz Navidad. Exactly. We're actually exactly. listening to the Feliz Navidad yes, exactly. song right now. Exactly. We have something for the um, Chinese uh, Christians, actually, um, and that has some happiness and good luck symbols on it. And all of our wrap is basically um, you know, culturally uh, relevant and um, very specific to the traditions um, in different cultures that need to be celebrated, we feel, um, but maybe don't have the right medium. And so... Why is it important, you think, to celebrate some of these things? Do you think it'll make your gift stand out a little bit more, or why do we... it does. Yeah, it does add a little bit more of a, a personalization, you know, a little bit of a, a, a personalized touch. Yeah. Um, and uh, in this particular holiday season, given the state of the economy, I think, I think um, it's nice if you can add a little something you know, on the outside of the gift uh, that shows a little bit more thought. Yeah. Know. And do you ever warn people to uh, make sure you pick the right thing? Because you don't want to, uh, without intending, offend someone accidentally. Sure. So you want to make sure you, what are your warnings about that? Um, about the wrap itself, um, well, we personally actually have cultural advisors that do look at our designs, and we make sure that it's culturally sensitive. Um, but um, other than that, I, th I think we've done a great job coming up with the right ideas, right designs, and um, uh, you know, we also wanted to showcase that uh, we've made our, our gift wrap a little educational as well. On the reverse side of the wrap, we actually have little short uh, paragraphs uh, discussing the, the significance of the symbols and the, and the artwork, um, you know, relevant to that particular... So it actually explains um, it. Right, yeah. and that was our idea as parents, that that's a way can, you can hand down um, the idea behind the symbolism on the, on the front of the wrap. What is a dia? What is a Celtic cross? What, why a poinsettia? For Central America. Now, any gift wrapping tips, ideas that we should keep in mind? Um, and I need a lot of these because I'm the kind of guy who <laughs> kind of just puts it all there and puts a piece of tape on it. So. Well, I'm, I'm always um, big on um, textures of bows, and you know, I think they complement nicely with a design, especially if it's, it's a beautiful design by itself. Okay. I think a textured solid bow is a good idea. Like, is um, that, that would be that one? That she's holding right like there. Something right. It complements, you know, the sort of the matted finish of the of the paper. Um, and, and this was another idea. If if your gift is too big, you can always wrap an envelope and say, "Your gift didn't fit under the tree. Look in the hall closet." Hall closet. See, I feel like that would build up a lot of suspension. So then you better have a very good gift in the closet, <laughs> right? right? That's right. Exactly. <laughs> she created interest. Exactly. So. Now, no. Global uh, Gift Fund. You guys also do fundraisers for schools. Yes, we do. Is that right? Yes, Talk we a little do. bit about that. Well, our gift trap, I think, has been very well received by nonprofit organizations, by dance schools, Irish dance schools, and on our website, um, which is www.globalgifttrap.com, you can go and see all the fundraisers that we've done so far. We do contribute a certain percentage back to the schools and to the organizations and it's been very well received. It's, it's very like unique. A, you can't buy this gift wrap anywhere except for right. with us. It's a whole new dimension in the gift wrap world and and you know it does also give you access to many different age groups um, because gift giving occasions are yeah. in every culture. Well perfect. Thank you ladies yeah. for being us this Thank morning. You. We appreciate it Thank and of else. course if you want more information on the global gift wrap you can always go to our website NBCChicago.com and just search global gift wrap. Some very cool ideas Ellie. We're going to send it back over to you. All right. Thank you so much.